you squeeze them, you can see pumpkin juice coming out from butt. When I first got myself into keeping these guys, if you guys don't know what these are, uh, they're dubia roaches, yeah? Dubia blaptica dubia roaches. Anyways, when I started keeping dubia roaches, I bought them from a seller, obviously. I mean, where else am I gonna get them? So yeah, you can see they are currently eating a pumpkin. Now, pumpkin is, I would say, one of the best gut loads for dubia roaches. You know why? Because pumpkin, well, they don't really mold super quickly. So that is one up thing. So because you, I mean, obviously you don't want to give your stuff moldy uh, fruits and vegetables. So yeah, pumpkin doesn't really mold super quickly and they last a whole lot longer compared to other fruits and vegetables. You can keep them outside. I mean, if you haven't cut it open yet, you can just keep it outside for weeks. Yeah, weeks and nothing happens to the pumpkin. If you cut it a pumpkin open and you put it in the fridge and you like saran wrap it, it may mold after about a week. If you put it in the freezer, it's up to like uh, indefinite like Mm, how can I say? In no, no. I, I don't even know what's the word. But yeah, uh, it lasts forever pretty much, like without any mold. And also pumpkin is a very, very good antioxidant. So it's a very good gut load. Dude, do not be scared of me. Pumpkins are very, 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 very good gut load, I would say. Because, I mean, it's big, right? It's big. It is cheap. Cheaper than most fruits. And roaches, they, to be honest, they actually really, really do enjoy pumpkin. The moment I put a pumpkin in, the first time I put a pumpkin in, the first time I actually introduced pumpkins to them, they were pretty curious and kind of hesitated to eat that. But then once they tried it, yo, every time I put pumpkin in now, they swarm it. They just swarm the pumpkin because I guess it's sweet and it's delicious and it's, it's just awesome. So yeah, pumpkin, if you guys want to gut load your roaches, I would definitely... 100% recommend pumpkin because so many babies, my gosh, that's so cool. But yeah, pumpkins are the way to go when you want to gut load your rotors. I mean, you can also gut load them with apples. Oranges, I heard, boost their breeding, but I don't know if that is a myth. I don't know, comment down below. But yeah, for me now, pumpkin is my go-to mm, fruit or vegetable. Is pumpkin a fruit or vegetable? Yeah, it is the way to go for me. And yeah, but then the thing is, when I got my dubia roaches from the seller, he mentioned that you can feed your dubias literally anything because when I, when I first bought my dubias, I did not, didn't know how to take care of them. So I asked him for some info and he said you can feed any fruits or vegetables to your dubia roaches and they will love it. However, one thing that you do not ever feed roaches, I don't know if it's true or it's a myth or I don't know. He just told me that is believe it or not, cucumbers. Yeah, cucumbers. We all like cucumbers. Well, actually, I, I don't know. Cut that out. I don't like cucumbers, but cucumbers, he said. It's toxic to roaches. So with that, I over here have uh, a chopped up cucumber, which is kind of weird. I don't know why this cucumber is so skinny and long, but that is, I, I don't know. I have no idea, but this right here is some kind of cucumber. I am not a cucumber expert, so do not ask me what species or... Wait, species? Can you call fruit species? Like, what type? Yeah, what type of cucumber this is because I'm no vegetable expert and I do not know. So with that, we are going to do an experiment. Yeah, we're going to put a roach in a container which i have over here i'm gonna put a couple roaches in here i'm I, I actually thought of just putting one what is that is that poop into the bin you go but yeah i'm gonna put a couple roaches because i'm not gonna put one roach and then if that roach decides to die then yeah it it, it just dies but I'm gonna put a couple roaches because what are the odds that everyone's just gonna die at the same time? So I'm gonna put a few roaches with the, uh, what do you call this? The cucumber. Why can't I really think of words right now? This cucumber, I'm going to put it in here. It's kind of gross with substrate, but no worries. Roaches are not going to complain about that. I'm gonna put that in there as their water source and I'm not gonna put any other food inside. So it's their choice. If they wanna eat that to survive, I mean, or, or, I, I, 
I don't know. If they want to eat that to survive, that's the only thing they're going to have. So they better eat that. We're going to see if cucumbers are actually toxic to roaches. If they are, then yeah, do not feed them, obviously. But if they're not, then I would still not feed them because someone said they're not good. Maybe they won't kill them, but if it's not good, I still wouldn't feed them. I mean, if there's a crack in a hanging bridge and 10 people walk past it without any issues, I still won't go through it because you never know, right? It's going to probably break. I don't know, it maybe will break. So as for roaches, we're gonna put different sizes. So yeah, um, we're going to, uh, come on, man. All right, now the thing is, we're gonna have to wait for a few days because these roaches have already been gut loaded with the pumpkin. Let me get a roach, I'll show you. So you get the roach, you squeeze them. You can see pumpkin juice coming out from butts. There we go, that is pumpkin gut load right there. And they're also like spit out like pumpkin juice out of their mouths. Yeah, that's kind of gross. So yeah, you can know that they are gut loaded. So we're gonna put them in here and we'll see if they actually eat the cucumber. If they don't eat, then they know that it's toxic if they eat and they die then yeah so we're gonna put a whole bunch of roaches okay we've got i think we've got enough juveniles on adults all right we're gonna get adult males because i've got like plenty of males the reason i'm getting males is because if you have too many males they will tend to fight with each other and just kill each other so yeah that is why i'm getting the males i'll probably get like maybe just two females because why not i've got a lot okay you there we go okay so i think that should be enough of roaches for this experiment we will leave them in here and with the uh only food item and we'll see if they eat it and they survive, that is a new discovery for me. If they eat it and they die, then it is toxic to them. If they don't eat it, then they're smart and they know what's toxic to them, which I don't know. Are roaches smart? No clue. So that's up to us to find out. We're going to be leaving this here. I mean, not here. I'm, I'm going to be putting it like, I have no idea. I'll, I'll put it somewhere. Yeah, I'll just put it over here. We'll leave them there for a couple of days and we will be back to see what happens to them. I will check on the cucumber if it is moldy or anything. If it's moldy, I'll go get a new cucumber and put it in. But they're just going to get cucumbers. So if they're hungry, they should eat it. All right. Oh, this guy is really going to... No, he, he, he just, he didn't want to eat it. But yeah, that's going to be our experiment. I will see you guys in a few days. I mean, like right after this for you guys, but I will update this for me in a few days. And yeah, we'll, we'll see what the outcome is. I'll see you guys later. All right, we've got one eating already. So, oh, they're all coming to eat. That is awesome. All right, cool, cool. So looks like this video, we can continue it in a couple days. And I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. All right, guys, so I may sound a little bit different because I'm using my other phone, but it has been about two days. Two days since we filmed that and the roaches, they all seem to be doing well. They all seem to be alive and kicking. So yeah, this thing is starting to get a little bit gross. I mean, very gross. Look at this. This is like, oh, that is yeah okay let me let's smell okay no that's 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 not a good smell that's not a good smell at all this will go into the bin right away okay that is gross okay so these roaches it looks like yeah i think we can now come to a conclusion that cucumber does not kill roaches it does not deter them away it kind of attracts them like you guys saw right as soon as i put in that the uh, cucumber the roaches started to come and eat it so yeah i think we can come to a conclusion that roaches they actually do like cucumbers oh yeah and please do not take my word for it that cucumbers do not kill roaches it's just that particular cucumber that that, that was the only kind of cucumber that i had so i just tried out with that i don't know if the fatter the more common cucumber will affect them in any way but i mean that's just just my experiment that it didn't kill them. They, I don't know what cucumber that is. Comment down below. Is that like a zucchini or something? I, I, I don't know, but... Yeah, I'm not a vegetable expert. But yeah, based on that experiment, I can say that whatever cucumber that I use does not kill them. And well, we can also say that not all cucumbers kill them because I mean, I haven't tried other cucumber species as well. Species? What? I don't know. But yeah, that cucumber didn't kill them. So we can safely say that if you want to feed your roaches that skinny cucumber, the one that I just showed you guys. Yeah, I guess you're free to do it. I mean, it, it's been two days. I'm not sure if they're going to die in a couple of days. You know what? I'll, I'll just keep it over here for me maybe a week. If they don't die, then yep, we can have a good conclusion. 
All right, guys, I think we can safely confirm that whatever cucumber we fed these roaches are non-toxic because as you can see, we even have a freshly molted male. Look at that. Looks like the cucumber wasn't toxic at all and it even allowed the roach to molt out. So yeah, guys, but still, despite that, I still wouldn't feed cucumbers to them because I don't know, I just don't like cucumbers in general. So yeah, I'll stick to feeding them pumpkins because that is still one of the best. Comment down below what you guys feed your roaches. I mean for vegetables and fruits because i would like to know yeah but for my suggestion to you guys pumpkin's the way to go